it's time for stay, hashtag Ask KG, hey. presented by Metro PCS. Here's the question for KG and company. On a scale of 1 to 10, how worried are you about the Cavs? Ernie, I would say my concern for the Cavs are oh, five right now. I'm concerned of uh, the appetite. I'm concerned at the, um, at the level they're playing. Um, as you saw at the end of the, end of the fourth quarter, the last two minutes, the last minute, they wasn't, for me, for a team that's been on kind of a losing streak or been in a funk, to me, they wasn't like running through the wall. They wasn't diving on the floor as, as a, as, as, it, yeah. I just didn't get that. We need to win tonight, so we're going to do whatever it takes to win. You know, LeBron obviously was LeBron, and um, I don't know, but I do know that the season is long enough for you to turn it around. Um, I'm, again, I'm going to go to this. Uh, having no preseason, having, you know, a small preseason or a small window on top of injuries, new players, trying to form chemistry, I, I, you know, I, I'm just seeing it be um, an example of, um, teams not coming together or not committing to one another. I'm, I'm concerned about that, but the season is long enough for them to turn this around. KG, you know this is only a half an hour show. Can you shorten your answers next time? <laughs> Damn. Hey, so I'm sure you, sure you almost fall asleep. Hey, hey, Robinson and Michael Red. I, I almost saw you fall asleep. You, I know you're taking that jerk call on the side. Hey, Cheryl, it's number one, I want to thank you and Michael and China for joining uh, Area 21. So, Cheryl, you're one of the greatest bas women basketball players ever. You had your dynasty down in Houston. Who was the better team in Houston, your Comets or Kenny's Rockets? Ooh, Ooh. don't do it. Don't, don't do it. You're trying to start something. You're trying to start something. That's not a wow. That's not fair. That's not That's fair. Terrible. So, Cheryl so, knows I love you know her. So, so Chuck. Tell him about that four piece, Cheryl. Well, you, you, he know where I'm going. <laughs> she, well, Shaq go about four pieces of chicken. Um, <laughs> I appreciate you guys having us. I absolutely enjoy being here, but you know, I got much respect and love for Kenny, so I'm I'm not really going to answer that question. Yeah, Cheryl is. I mean, we uh, we she know we were at those Commons game cheering just as hard as they were at the Rockets game right. cheering for us. So it was a it was called the Clutch City week for a reason. And you help, you help. Yeah, that because as well. of them. But because let's, try of to, let's add it. Because you know, of y'all. I, 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 I think a lot of times when, when we have our female guests, we always talk about we kind of gravitate towards the WNBA. But I, 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 would, I would say I, I want to kind of gravitate to the NBA because I know you guys are aficionados of basketball and on all levels. So I want to ask, you know, if you look at the struggles of Cleveland, you look at the struggles of OKC. But then you see certain teams able to turn it around. What would be the difference? Because you guys have been in those positions, especially the China and Cheryl. You've been in those positions where you've been in those locker rooms that you have to turn things around when the expectations are high. Mm -hmm. what, what, what would you, what's going on and what are people saying at that time? Yeah, I mean, I agree with a lot of what KG said that it, it's how you lose, right? So the Cavs are losing because of lack of effort. I mean, how many times have they lost a game on not boxing out? Like, that's easy to get on the glass. Right. Um, for a team like OKC, you know, like when we're looking at the teams that have had major changes to their roster, you know, they're playing hard. You know, they'll, they'll find their chemistry. Yeah. Um, Houston obviously has found something special. Mm. So you have to keep in perspective that it's a long season, right? So you got to have some patience, but you don't want to lose games because of <sighs> lack of effort. Like, right. that's never okay. So. Right. I, I, hey, I, Michael. I, yeah. So, you know, you had a lot of your success, most of your success in Milwaukee. How exciting is it for you to see what Jason and the Greek Freak mm. and those guys yeah. are doing in Milwaukee now? I'm super happy for the city. I'm happy for the organization. Uh, I was there about a week and a half ago, Charles, and uh, the team is long. They have a lot of potential on what they can do. I think within the next two years, they can really contend. Uh, for a championship, especially with the Greek freaks. So, hmm. I two think years, the why two years, Michael? What are, what are they missing in these in this in that two year period? I think experience. They have to experience a semifinal. Um, oh they God. have to experience that level, uh, and to, for them to grow. And so, I think with the Greek freak being the franchise player, with Chris Middleton, Jabari mm -hmm. coming back, 
And with the trade with Bledsoe, they got a great nucleus to potentially be really, really good. Right. Why the hell don't you have any shoes on? You think you're at home? <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm chilling right in the area. We laid back. We're in the area, dog. We don't have rules in here. Right. Y'all got rules. Right, right, right. No rules. Gina Geritol, she's lamping on set. He's cold laughing over there. You went 80s on us early. Early 90s. Hey, uh, He's cold laughing. Hey, take a look at this there, KG. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs>